Hi everyone, Rory Neary from Data Spinners and TDG. Today we're going to take a look at the reset function. It's something that you can use to reset your drop downs and your timers and audio as you can see in this. And you can use it in lots of other ways, but we'll just give you the principles of uh, how to make use of it. So here we go, let's just dive into Power Apps. So here we are in Power Apps and you can see that we have a drop down and we can select a value for that and we've got a timer and we can get that start and off it goes. Uh, and we've also got some music where we can just uh, get that going. Um, there you are. Good. So what we're trying to do in this is we're trying to basically get those elements to be reset and we need a button in order to do that. So I'm going to click button um, and I'm just going to call this my reset button, make it nice and big and call it reset button. And then I'm just going to maybe change the, uh, oh, why don't let's play around with this. Uh, let's make the, uh, let's make it round border radius. Uh, I just make it an enormous amount, just like about 400 or something. I'll make it quite round and then I'm just going to just do it like that. There we are. Yeah, you, you can you can make it absolutely perfect, but it's not far off um, if it's not a complete circle. And then I'm just going to do, um, it's going to go onto the fill and make that red. That'll be nice. Uh, so there we are. There's my big reset button. Does absolutely nothing at the moment. So on select, what we're going to do is we're going to do reset and then open brackets. And we've got this drop down here. It's called drop down one. Um, and we'll call it drop down one. Uh, and then close the bracket and what we should find is that if we go on here and then click reset then it goes back to normal okay so let's crack on with that we're going to put in a semicolon and we're going to do reset now i need to get the tight it's called timer one so open brackets timer one and then just close the bracket on that and what we should find on that is that if we click on this and then click the reset button you can see that it goes back to zero again. And then the final one is to do it on the audio. And I'll just check it's called audio two. So and then the final thing is to put reset um, audio, audio two. Oh, it's not audio one, it's audio two. Close the brackets and let's just verify this actually works. So click the play button. There we are. There you are, back to the start. So. There you have it. That's the reset button, um, or rather the reset function. And there are lots of ways of, of making use of this. And I'll just invite you to use your creativity in order to uh, make your apps work in the way that you would like them to. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, please like. Even more importantly, please share. The uh, This is all about um, you sharing your knowledge and letting other people know that these resources exist and for them to get stuck in. It's the only way that we're all going to create these uh, amazing apps in the future. Uh, I'll see you again soon.